everyone, this is James at Eurevo, New York's number one commission rebate brokerage with our November Manhattan market update. And first on mortgage rates, we actually had good news this month. Mortgage rates went down about half a percent, and that was because inflation data, specifically the CPI, came in lower than expected. So basically the market said, all right, well, if inflation is not as high as we expected, maybe the Fed won't have to raise rates as aggressively as we previously thought. And you can see that here, the mortgage rates went down, and it's also important to note that this is as the Fed was increasing interest rates. So this is your monthly reminder that the Fed raising rates does not mean that mortgage rates are going to go up. And a lot of people get this wrong. In fact, most people get this wrong, including NAR's chief economist. Um, he put out this statement and said that if mortgage rates go to 7%, they could go to 8.5%, um, which is uh, wrong. Uh, they could. Uh, they could also go down, and that's in fact exactly what happened. Um, mortgage rates at 7%, and they promptly went down. So just to toot our own horn, uh, we put out this video after we saw this article, and we said that it was really dumb. Um, and so if you want more content like this, you can subscribe to our channel, and you'll get it as it's published. And then going over to the market stats, we basically saw uh, similar activity as we saw in October, which I think is probably good news given how high mortgage rates are. Um, contract activity was down about 43% year over year. And if we look at this by price point, it's weaker as you go higher in price point, uh, which is uh, not what you would expect given that mortgage rates are the, um, the primary driver of the slower market and the amount of financing is much higher at the lower end. Um, but as we mentioned before, this is primarily because uh, the, the comps on the high end the, are very tough. Last year was just very, very strong on the high end. So it's just more a reflection of the high end coming back down to earth rather than absolute weakness at the high end. And then on the inventory side, we remain under control there. We're up about 3%, we're just bouncing around flat. And this is probably going to continue. I would expect this to continue to remain under control because there are two things that are preventing sellers from putting their apartments on the market. The first is that they're locked into lower mortgage rates. So if they have a 3% on their current place, uh, they're not gonna be that excited to go to a 7% on uh, a new place. And then also if the market's going down, sellers aren't really eager about, um, about accepting a lower price. So all of this really depends on, and, and I should mention on pricing, we're not seeing too much there. Basically we're down about 5%, give or take, if I had to pick. Um, but we're not seeing it across the board and it really depends on your specific search. So depending on what you're looking at, it's going to make a difference. So if you want us to slice and dice this data, depending on price point, location, um, property type, we're happy to, we can slice this data however you like. We'd be happy to uh, answer any questions you have. You can email us at info at .com. You can email me directly at james at .com. Um, We'd be happy to represent you on your search and get you a commission rebate for up to 2%. So thanks a lot and we'll see you next month. Bye.